Hey guys, how's it going? So uh, Ben Broad uh, made a little tweet on Twitter today. Um, it's about they finally got our feedback regarding Druid. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, they got it now. They never heard about Druid being too strong before. They never heard about Jade Idol being maybe a little bit of a problematic card. But nevertheless, I'm very happy they are looking into it and they're actually doing something. Though, um, actually there are also downsides and that's actually the reason I want to talk about this. It's not like just like, yeah, Druid is too strong, so finally they're gonna do something about it. Let's move on with the great meta since it's not that easy. First of all, I want to make a prediction of what I believe what might happen. I think they will probably nerf ultimate infestation and maybe also spreading plague. I don't think they're gonna touch Jade Idol because um, Jade Idol is already a problem for uh, a longer time. If they wanted to change that, they could have done that a long time ago. What they did do is they revealed uh, Skulk and Geist this expansion, which is thought to be a counter to Jade Idol, though it's kind of slow. Their plan wasn't and still isn't to remove Idol. It's also difficult to um, nerf Idol. I can't imagine another effect on that card that would make it a playable card. But on the other hand, N Blizzard has nerfed cards to death before, so they could do that with Idol and we will never see it again. So probably moving it to the Hall of Fame if they touch Jade Idol would be the better option. But yeah, I don't think that will happen. <laughs> I think they will probably nerf ultimate infestation and maybe spreading plague as well or they're gonna do something totally different and that would be really exciting but for now in this video we're gonna assume that something between those lines will happen because I want to talk about the consequences. My meta prediction if they touch ultimate infestation and maybe spreading plaque, it applies to both scenarios. Jade Druid will still be tier 1, since uh, Druid got a really strong death knight, um, Jade Druid is as strong as it was before, um, even without ultimate infestation and spreading plaque, it will be a good tier 1 deck. It will be, won't be as broken, people who really enjoy playing Jade Dru Druid will still be able to play Jade Druid afterwards. And that also means we will see more shamans again, because without spreading plaque, and ultimate infestation, um, Druid lose, uh, loses a lot of value against those aggressive decks, just like in the last meta with Angoro. Also because of that we will see more pirate warriors again and we'll probably see less token druids since shaman is really good against token druid, um, pirate warrior is also kind of good against token druid, though actually with the new taunts, I'm not that sure. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna see more shamans. Is that a good thing? I actually don't think so. Because even though it's really boring to play against like 5, 6 or 7 jade druids in a row. Um, I mean, it's not even just jade druids, right? It's big ramp druids. But yeah, it's not it's not really fun. I do agree to that. But this matter is the reason we're not seeing many shamans and we're also not seeing as many pirate warriors. And that's actually a good thing, right? For me, it is for sure. I'm, I love playing rogue and the matchup against shaman and pirate warrior is terrible. The matchup against druid is a lot better. Also, rogue is pretty good against token druid, so the meta right now is actually kind of good for rogue. It's not amazing, but it is good. I'm I'm kind of polarized about these changes that are to come because if they don't do something exciting, really surprising, I think we're just gonna end up in a meta very similar to Angoro, uh, with lots of shaman. Lots of pirates warriors, still some token druids, still uh, some jade druids. Uh, Secret mage might also come back, who knows, maybe. Um, though it wasn't really that great in Anguru either, so um, yeah, but, but burn mage might also be better. Um, will priest stay? Yeah, I think the Highlander Priest is good enough to have its space still on the ladder. Uh, it's also pretty good in countering aggressive decks, so I think it will still be uh, playable with a decent win rate. In my mind, it's like if they do that, which is the obvious path, we're just gonna have a worse meta than now. At least for me, because I rather play 
play like more druids and counter them than playing again against a lot of shamans and a lot of pirate warriors. I don't know how you think about this, but let me know in the comment section if you wanna uh, share your opinion on that. Uh, I really hope they do something surprising and exciting. I mean, I'm not playing much druids, so I guess I'm also not very emotional about hard changes for druid. Um, and I really don't care if they like move in a way into into wild or something, but I do kind of get that that's a core concept of Druid and they're probably not gonna do that. Even though I think it would be a fine solution, since having wild growth and innovate is super fucking strong. But every class has its broken glass cut, so who knows? On one hand, I think, yeah, we have to see some changes. On the other hand, I actually don't want to see the changes that are in our mind, like only changing ultimate infestation and the plaque. Um, because Acro will rise again. <laughs> so that's already it. Um, as I already said, please feel free to share your opinion, also to give me some feedback. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button, it does help me. If you didn't like the video, just hit the thumbs down button, maybe leave some feedback, I would appreciate it. And hope to see you on stream or on the next one. See you guys, bye bye.